Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both quarterbacks have reliable tight ends they know they'll be able to count on to make plays. It's the Packers going up against the Falcons. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 14 matchup. zero in the loss column. Beckham is going to be deep here for the opening kick. The team that sits atop the NFC South has the football on the tee. Getting set now to kick it away and get this game started. This game has officially begun. Beckham has got a chance to return this one. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. And now we've got a young quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Uh, you know, Jim, this guy, he's, he's starting to inch his way up into that elite status, and, and he keeps playing solid football. So if he goes out here today and, and plays a good, solid game again today, we're going we're gonna to start talking about him differently here in the future. First down here. They bring in the extra tight end. They'll run it here. Denard's in on the tackle. And with that, let's take a look at the Packers' offensive lineup. One of the strengths of this offense, its ability this year to convert on third down. One of the best in the league. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. The Falcons defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Looking across the middle, and intercepted! Boyer's going to be the one leading this offense today. Last week, he accounted for over 200 yards passing.
Packers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them yeah it did Jim but you know what it's not a perfect game you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football so you made that mistake let it go go out there be aggressive and see if you can score some points well, that's a beautiful throw down the field that time gets the big completion and we see why this quarterback has the most passing yards in the NFL. What a throw. First down at the 27. And it's Eric Weddle who makes the tackle. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. Second down here after that run play. Let's go. Hit the yard. A little jumpy there by that defensive front. Encroachment, defense. Still second down. The Packers moving inside the 20 and the red zone last week. They just feasted on that part of the field. Second and short. And now here's the toss. Breaks the long one for the touchdown. And that touchdown, Phil, here late in the first, ties the game. Yeah, ties it up, and it gets him out of a little hole, and of course it gives the offense a lot of, a lot of confidence. And on the defensive side, they have struggled early, but maybe they can start to pick things up. The Packers with a PAT to tie the contest. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Got a tie game here now. And what's been a good one? The Packers take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looked so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? That's a really good throw and catch. And they get the first down, Jim. That's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Makes the catch in open space. Tackles made. We're back here getting ready for the second quarter. Phil, that was a defensive tug of war the first quarter it sure was and it was a tug of war and it was boring that's what it looked like I, I, I want to give the defense some credit I thought they did well but really the offenses just poor play selection poor execution and you got to get some emotion going out there on the offensive side and the second quarter is underway with this snap Complete just can't hold on that time. Got to get this secondary credit in this passing league now. It's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. The Falcons with a nickel look here on defense. Third and ten. Touchdown, Green Bay Packers. That is the 75th touchdown throw of his career. That's... The Packers on a quest for their third straight scoring drive here, Phil. They've been having their way with that defense on these last few possessions. Well, let me say this, Jim. It's not that easy to score points in the NFL. Not the way they're making it look. And they're confident. They're, they look like they're fast. They're fresh. They're rested. It's been fun to watch. Well, they call it the post route because you're running towards the goal post. But a good route that time by the receiver making that cut. He gets open, gets behind the defense, and a nice throw. Keeps his ball is out. The 
Hernandez was able to recover the ball. Nice job by the offense at time. Even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. Coming to the line right at the 50. First down at the 50. Green's got it on a pass that had some heat. Mark him down for another reception. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it, sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance, they get it done. First and 10. Pass is intercepted. Defense now signaling for a timeout. 